Okay, we have here another integral from the MIT integration be from 2024, problem seven. We have the integral of x to the 2024 minus one over x to the 506 minus one dx. Okay, a couple things I see here. So first, clearly we've got a higher power in the numerator. So this is kind of a case where we might wanna use polynomial long division. But the thing is, because we've got this minus one here, this is clearly factorable. So maybe we can just get some simplification by factoring this. And the other thing is this relationship between 2024 and 506. 2024, this just happens to be four times 506. So that's gonna to work together pretty well that way. So what I wanna do is kind of come down here and just deal with algebra for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is we'll just do a substitution, but not, we're not gonna take the derivatives, we're just doing algebra. So for the substitution, I'm gonna call t equal to x to the 506. But then because we know four times 506 is 2024, if I look at t to the fourth, I can look at x to the 506 to the four, but then with exponent properties, this is again, this is our x to the 2024. So in order to simplify this fraction, what we actually have here with the substitution, just to kind of make it easier for me to write everything, easier to look at, we're gonna have t to the four minus one over just t minus one, because t is our x to the 506. But then there's a few different ways to factor, but I think what I wanna do on here, I'm just gonna do difference of two squares. So what I'll do is I can write this as t squared plus one times t squared minus one, all over t minus one. But then again, on this term here, I can use difference of two squares again. So we'll have our t squared plus one, but then this will become, this here is gonna become t plus one times t minus one. But then that's gonna allow me to cancel the t minus ones here, which is nice because now we don't have a rational expression, it's just gonna be like a polynomial. Then what I'll do is multiply this back out in order to get a polynomial. So this is gonna become t cubed plus t squared plus t plus one. But now from here, I just wanna get everything back to x. So we already have a value for t. We have our t value here. We've got our t to the fourth value that we don't need. We just need t cubed and t squared. So let's see, for t cubed, that's gonna be x 506 cubed. So that's gonna be x, if we just distribute that in, that's gonna be x to the 15, 18. And then for t squared, we're gonna have x to the 506 squared. That's gonna be x to the 10, 12. So then putting everything back for t cubed, we have our x to the 15, 18. Then for t squared, we have x to the 10, 12, plus x to the 506, and then just a plus one there. So what we've done is we just took our whole integral here and we just reduced it to just a polynomial. So we'll just take this whole thing here and put it back into our integral and finish it off. Okay, now from here, even though we've got really large exponents, it's just power rules, so this should be easy to finish. So what I'm gonna do, so let's just integrate this. So first we're gonna have x to the, just doing, adding plus one here, right? We're gonna have x to the 15, 19 over 15, 19, plus x to the 1,013 over 1,013. Then here, this is gonna become x to the 507 over 507 plus x, put a plus c, and that's it. So it turns out this would have been a pretty good problem for the 1519 integration b or the 1013 integration b or even the 507 integration b, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't go back that far. The furthest of the oldest MIT integration b I've seen is like 1991, I think. Okay, so there you have it. After a little bit of algebra and factoring, we ended up with just power rule. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.